Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I have another plant haul for you. Um, with all that's been going on, I haven't been going anywhere, but I've been online shopping at my local nurseries. And also I've gotten some plants before this all happened, um, since my last video. Again, please like and subscribe and comment. It really helps me out. And also by liking this video, you're letting me know that you want more plant related videos. Honestly, with all this going on um, in the world and us being at home a lot, I think it's really like therapeutic to have plants and greenery in your house, especially when it's not warm enough outside to have gardening out there yet. I'll be doing that um, when the weather's better, but here we're still getting snow sometimes, so um, and it's not warm enough yet. So I just find having plants at home really like is a stress relief and taking care of them and stuff is really exciting. I love looking to see that there's gr new growth or new leaves. Um, so I'll just share with you some plants I recently picked up. I'll show you everything and I'll also include the names underneath um, if that's helpful for you. And just let me know um, what plants have you bought lately and what's your favorite plant right now. I'd love to know. So we'll just get into the video. And I wanted to say as well, please excuse the nursery pots and also <laughs> these saucers that I have. I haven't been able to get out and get new pots or saucers and I purchased so many plants that I don't have enough pots for them. I don't want to repot them anyways in the beginning because I heard it can stress them out. But the first plant that I got is this one here. It's the... It's a beautiful purple oxalis plant. So it looks like four leaf clovers and it did flower, but all the flowers are done now, so I have to cut that off. So this is absolutely beautiful. I picked this up at Home Depot a while ago for only like $3.99, so it was a really good deal and good find. So that's what it looks like. My next plant, I just got the other day um, from uh, just it being delivered to my door with contactless delivery. Um, this is a fiddle leaf fig. My other fiddle leaf fig that you've seen in my other video has died. I don't know what happened to it. It was doing so well. And then the pot that I had it in, that I bought it in, didn't have any drainage. So I was noticing that there was like fungus gnats and it wasn't draining well at all. So I transplanted it into a terracotta pot and after that it just got so stressed out and dropped all its leaves so now it just looks like a dried up stem. I'm, I'll show you guys that another time but I'm not sure if it'll even come back. So I purchased another one and this one doesn't look that healthy either. So I contacted the seller about it just because it has a lot of spotting to the leaves. I hope it'll be okay but I don't know. And if this one doesn't make it, I don't think I'll purchase another one. I just think if this one doesn't make it, then it's like not meant to be <laughs> for me or something. So that's a fiddle leaf fig and there's actually two in this pot. I just hope one of them survives at least. But I think that this browning to the top leaves means that the plant was overwatered. But I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. If you guys have any tips, just let me know underneath. Thank you so much. Next is this Philodendron Brazil Neon. Next is this Philodendron Neon. You can see how long it is. And the leaves are beautiful on it. And it has some new growth coming out here. This has been doing really well. I'm going to let it grow. It's so long, as you can see. I'm going to let it grow really long and then propagate it and put the propagations into the top because there's not much going on here. There's one other stem that I put in here, but other than that, there's not too much going on in here. But I just love how big the leaves are and beautiful, the hearts. And I love the color as well. It really pops because it's neon. And I have it in my bedroom and it's hanging down on my shelf and every day or so there's a new leaf so it must be really happy there. So I really love this plant. It's so beautiful. 
So the next plant I have here is a Ser I think it's called Seriu um, snake plant. This was a propagation from a friend. So these are the adult leaves and then there's new growth here at the bottom. So it's a beautiful snake plant and it seems really happy and like it's popped out another new leaf here as well. So I think I'll just continue where it is in my room. Um, it gets some um, direct light at, in the afternoon, but mostly it's partial sunlight. It's just a beautiful, like you can see the variegation there. And these are really long, so I can't wait for these to grow out so then it's not so lopsided. But another beautiful plant. The rest of these plants I've been wanting for so long, um, but I just, I don't know why I didn't treat myself to them, and now I just have been with everything going on. I've just been stress shopping, which isn't that good. And then this I've wanted forever. It's a rubber tiniki rubber plant. And you can see the colors of it. And the new growth comes in kind of pinkish. This is really beautiful and it's just a little four inch baby plant. I love to get my plants as tiny plants or cuttings just to watch them grow. I find it really fun but I've learned that cuttings are a lot harder to care for and a lot less success rate than something that's already bought like a four inch. So this is beautiful. I love the colors on it. So that's so pretty. And next I got this plant as a cutting before and it really didn't turn out for me at all. Everything died and dried up. So I purchased a plant like an already grown plant like this. This is the Satin, Potho satin Pothos and you can see some of the leaves are just totally silver and every leaf is a different pattern. And there's some new growth coming there from the top. So this is what it looks like. And sorry if you guys can hear things outside. It's raining right now, so I'm not I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. I'm actually excited that it's raining and not snowing for once. So this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I've been wanting the satin pothos for so long. So I purchased two. And this one's got lots of new growth and you can see the roots coming out on the bottom. I feel like I'm going to have to repot this one soon because it's already root bound. But it is just so beautiful. I just want to let it get used to my house first before I repot it. I don't want to stress it out too much. And um, this one is like I love how every leaf is something new. This one's get this one gets more light, so it, it's growing faster than the other one. So I might have to move the other one to a more high light uh, area. It's kind of low light where it is now, but I absolutely love this plant. I've wanted it forever, and I swear I've tried cuttings. I bought once online. The whole thing showed up just mush and dead because it was in the winter. And another time I bought from someone local just cuttings and they just got all dried up and wouldn't root at all. So I just finally got myself the plant and I'm so happy with it. I should have got this a long time ago. <laughs> and that's the thing. These plants bring me so much joy and just watching them grow every day is so exciting. And I love how every new leaf is something unique. It's just so beautiful. Comment down below which out of these plants is your favorite. Um, what kind of videos do you want to see? Like, do you want to see propagation, more plant, uh, new growth videos, or do you have any ideas for me? Um, just let me know underneath. Thank you so much, guys. This is a Pothos Enjoy. It's really, really pretty. And this has lots of new growth on it as well. And this one's roots are coming at the bottom too, so I'm going to have to repot this soon too. This one is right beside the other satin pothos that is growing so well, so I think they really like that area because they get a lot of sun there. So it seems like even though they're low light plants, like they can tolerate low light, they really like sunlight too. 
so I just love the colors and the new growth on it. There's some more new growth unfurling at the end. So exciting. Last plant that I have to show you guys is this one here. It's a philodendron heartleaf brazil. So it's the same as that neon one except for the leaves are so much smaller because it's a younger plant. And again I wanted this forever. I purchased one online and it really didn't turn out well at all. Everything just showed up mushed in the winter and every leaf looks like it's almost painted. And there's new growth there. So I just find it so interesting to look at them and every leaf is unique. I've just washed them and watered them and fertilized them with my fish um, fertilizer. So that's why everything looks kind of wet right now. But every time I get a new plant, I just uh, water it and clean it really well just so that none of the dirt and stuff from wherever it's from uh, is on it to harbor any disease or anything. Um, so that's everything that I got. So that's all the plants that I picked up recently. I'm in love with them. Let me know which plants are your favorite underneath and what have you picked up recently. And check if you're wanting to buy plants, check at your local nurseries because with um, what's going on with the virus and stuff, um, you can't go in store shopping, but a lot of nurseries are doing contactless pickups. Like they'll drop it right off at your house for an extra cost and you don't have to be in contact with anyone, which is really good. Um, so thank you so much for watching guys. Like this video and I'll gladly make more plant videos for you. Thank you so much. It just lets me know that you guys love plants too. And happy spring. Love you guys. Bye.